cut it and I slice it. Anytime I can get in here, I slice it. When you hit flat like this, percussively, the blade flattens out. It may or may not fight. You'll get the impact, but you might not get a super cut. But if I pull, I'm always going to fight. He's always going to get cut. Especially if I angle my blade. If my blade's flat, I turn a slight angle like this, I pull through, I pull six inches of steel from his arm, he's going to be severely wounded. Now, the other big thing about the 49 is it has this guard. This guard's all important. When you normally, when he cuts in my hand, I'll have to move my hand. Here, hit my hand a few times. Now, more, normally, I have to date. Bowie knife, I just do this because I have that guard. If I'm in a hurry, I can just go like that and kill him. I pick him up with my blade or my guard right there. Now, for a microsecond, everyone understands it's not a long period of time. It's a very short period of time. I know where he's at. So I pick him up, I can bounce off or I can move him and cut him. So it's very, very important that double guard. It takes some skill. You've been working on it maybe three years now, hard with the double guard, and we'll start to get some skill on it. But that double guard makes the Bowie knife. When you don't have a double guard on your knife, uh, you lose a lot in its fighting potential and its defensive potential. Now, where'd Bond go? Bond. Bond. I'm just going to demonstrate the double guard with me. Hold on. Together twice a week, sometimes three times a week, for 13 or 14 years now, I guess. Okay, okay, okay.